This is a robot valet, a magnificent machine that wants to save humanity from the mundanity of parking. Because parking sucks, looking for a space, driving round and round a structure, manoeuvring in and out without just kissing a concrete pillar. Here, you just drive straight into the robotic parking garage, lock your car and walk away. Let's go and see it from the inside. This automated parking garage in West Hollywood, California uses horizontal and vertical shuttles to gently move cars into stacks of parking spaces. What this does, it eliminates all the turning radiuses, all the ramps, all the clearances for people to be able to walk here or to open up the doors and, and we're actually... I did notice the cars were squashed pretty close right. together, yeah. Right, so in the same volume we can put between two to three times the number of spaces. They're lifted and moved by these insect-like dollies that follow lines on the floor. They clamp their pincers gently around the tyres and hoist the car up before autonomously marching themselves back to the shuttle with the cars on their backs like little worker ants. The system always analyzes and calculates the fastest route to take your uh, car out. So it's very dynamic. At the end of every uh, movement, it's recalculating the fastest route out. It's really a building-sized game of Tetris. Spin the cars around and move them to free up space. And it's all completely computer-controlled. Usually this place is totally sealed off. Nobody comes inside. There is a lot of complexity compared to a regular concrete parking structure. But as well as a smaller footprint, the garage saves on noise and emissions because none of the cars have their engines running. It also worked out one million dollars cheaper to build because a conventional garage would have needed more materials to make it bigger for the same number of spaces. Max throughput is around 100 cars an hour. The wait can be around 10 minutes to get your car back, which feels like ages, but really isn't when you compare it to getting in an elevator and going to fetch your own vehicle. Besides, driving yourself is like so 2015. Has already patented a few patents that relate to the uh, integration of autonomous vehicle in our autonomous parking systems, and we are working with the uh, bigger leading companies on building those interfaces between the systems so that the cars can come in, park themselves, pay, and go and pick you up. Everything autonomously. And if we ever do stop using cars altogether, they can be designed so that the spaces can be converted into apartments or offices. When it's time to leave, the process, from the outside at least, is simple. Insert your ticket, pay, get into your car, and then just drive off. <laughs>